being Jewish is being proud of where we're coming from, being uh, believing in God, but uh, without getting necessarily into the details of practicing the religious according to different uh, custom, mostly just the main connection to the Jewish people, to uh, um, everything that our uh, fathers went through, and keeping the flame going forward. What was it like serving as an officer in the Israeli Defense Forces? On the one hand, you were protecting life. On the other hand, the IDF is demonized. Right. Well, as somebody that's doing it, we're not uh, bothered by what's going around. We know what we're doing. Uh, we believe in what we're doing, which is the right morals of not hurting anybody innocent and really just coming after specific terrorists. Um, very proud to do, to do what I did. Uh, protecting Jews when you come and arrest a specific terrorist in the middle of the night when you know he wanted to blow up a synagogue the next day. Um, I think uh, the IDF is uh, what's going on in the media outside of Israel. It's uh, lies, straight up lies. Israel, the army is probably the most moral army in the world. At most time, we would put ourselves in higher risk, but to avoid hurting um, innocent people on the other side. Um, just simple examples we would give in, if you're going in at 2 a.m. into uh, hostile environment cities, we would get instructions to, if we see anybody on the roof, which even we think is holding a weapon, not to open fire until they open fire at us, just in case so we're not killing somebody that's on the roof with a broom. Which again, if you're at, it's 2 a.m. and you're on the roof in these places, in these cities, you're probably not an innocent. But that's just an example to see how much we uh, put ourselves at risk, but to protect others. Everybody has fear. We're also, you know, scared to go into these uh, places and uh, when you're under fire and not great uh, places to be in. But when you understand why you're doing it, so that gives you the power to overcome the fear. In Israel, that's just the reality. So when you're 18, you go to the army and you go through these uh, things. So that's just what we're used to. Um, and you got to make the disconnect in one hand. In the other hand, there's no disconnect because you're coming home to a place that you possibly saved that synagogue from blowing up the next day. Um, I think it's part of what the Jewish people are in general are going, happening to us for generations. Uh, finally, we have a, our own state that we can uh, protect ourselves. And uh, looking at history, now we understand why the Israeli army is so important for the Jewish uh, people to continue. If we were uh, meeting uh, innocent Arabs in their cities, we treat them with all respect, like I would treat a Jewish elderly uh, person. No, we no don't, no, we're coming after terrorists. We're coming after people that wanna kill us. They wanna bomb buses, they wanna shoot in, in synagogues. Uh, that's the only people we're coming after. So the main value that animates you really is the value of life, whether it's family, whether it's the Jewish people, whether it's innocent life. Correct. And I think that's a big difference uh, between uh, us as Jewish people and I think most people in the world, um, compared to the terrorists and some of the Arabs, which don't value life. And you can see it when uh, you're out fighting that their leaders are uh, hiding under tunnels uh, when our officers are up front. So we value life and they unfortunately don't value life.